Let the peace, love, and blessings of Jehovah God and His Christ be upon the entire world. In the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. The source of salvation. Everlasting gospel delivered to the entire world by the Holy Spirit of Truth, leader or Lumba or Lumba or Buddha supernatural teacher. Spiritual food. St. John chapter 14, verse 6. Jesus said unto him, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man cometh unto the Father but by me. Practice the teachings of Christ. Quote, Beloved, whosoever wants to know God and does not pass through our Lord Jesus Christ cannot know Him. That is why when you want to communicate with God, you must start with the vow. In the name of our Lord Jesus Christ, in the blood of our Lord Jesus Christ, now and forevermore. Amen. If not, you are wasting your time because you cannot receive anything from the Father except through the Son. I want you to realize that whosoever is God's anointed should not be toyed with. Any church denomination that does not abide by the teachings of Christ is not from God. Any state or nation that does not walk in accordance with the teachings of our Lord Jesus Christ is not from God. Any government that does not abide by the teachings of our Lord Jesus Christ and does not rule in accordance with the teachings of our Lord Jesus Christ, such a government can never stand. Many continue to say, I am a born again or I am a spiritualist. But I tell you that whosoever does not believe in the teachings of our Lord Jesus Christ can never see God. It is made known to us that whosoever does not believe in the teachings of our Lord Jesus Christ and put them into practice can never have the Father, neither the Son with Him, but as many as abide by His teachings and put same into practice, they have the Father and the Son with them. Do not be deceived by any church denomination you belong to, whether the Roman Catholic or the Presbyterian, or the Methodist, or any other church. If you do not abide by the teachings of our Lord Jesus Christ, you are empty, and you do not merit anything. Also, if you declare that you are a believer, but you do not abide by the teachings, then it is very unfortunate for you because the scripture at John chapter 10 verse 8 is fulfilled in you. It says, All that ever came before me are thieves and robbers, but the sheep did not hear them. This generation is very lucky. For you have come to know the teachings of our Lord Jesus Christ, but the entire world is totally in darkness and does not know the teachings of Christ at all. Do not consult oracle or go to any juju doctor for solution of your problem. Many people believe in talisman. Today you are advised to abide by the teachings of our Lord Jesus Christ and everything you need will come to you. Do not plan to build a church, for Christ is the only church, which was built on a solid foundation. Do not listen to any advice from people, for our Lord Jesus Christ is the only way to salvation. Attending church 
are not attending it can never help you but the only help is for you to practice his words there is no church denomination that will obtain salvation except those that practice the teachings of our Lord Jesus Christ for he had said not all that call me Lord Lord will enter into the kingdom of God but those that do the will of my Father in heaven whosoever knows Christ knows the Father and anybody who claims to know God but does not know Christ is a liar he is the only leader that leads the whole world to the knowledge of truth everybody is advised to own a bible especially the new testament and read it and allow the teachings of christ therein to pilot you follow all his words and practice same in this new kingdom we are all witnesses of christ and whosoever does not add or subtract from what christ taught us but puts these teachings into practice has full salvation we do not light candle we do not beat drums or clap hands or burn incense but we rejoice in the ability of practicing the teachings of our lord jesus christ there is no need going to church every day with mat to sleep on but do not put the words of god into practice there is no need for you to go along with your bible into the streets and preach repentance when you yourself are still indulging in sin it profits you nothing that is why we are made to know in the bible that christ is the way the truth and the life and no man goes to the father but through him that is a truth for if we do not abide by his teachings and practice them we cannot follow him and we cannot see the father and no salvation will be obtained if you love christ you have loved god if you love the one sent by Christ, you have loved God. And if you put his teachings into practice, you have loved him also. I want everybody to come here and receive these teachings and put them into practice. They are teachings of love of peace, of long suffering, of joy and all other virtues of God. If we come here and abide by these teachings, we will all have salvation. We are told that whosoever knows the teachings of his master and does and does them not will be beaten with many stripes but whosoever does not know will be beaten with few stripes for to whomsoever many things are given many Things are equally expected of him by God. Beloved, a stroke of the cane is enough for the wise. He who has ears, let him hear what the Holy Spirit has imparted to the entire world. May God bless 
his holy words. Amen. End of quote. Peace in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ, now and forevermore. Amen. Thank you, Father.